Hey, made a fish. It's the 16th of March, 2018. And something's come upon me this morning, and I, I got to show it to you. We've been seeing um, Trump very heavily pushing, going to Mars, going back to the moon. They recreated the Space Council with Pence and all these various things, right? Okay, that's all well and good. U.S. is going to Mars very soon. But at the same time, we got Russia just announcing, pretty much, yesterday, he wants to beat the U.S. to Mars, okay? This is, this is pretty widespread, you know? Wants to go to Mars, find water on the moon... Trump is boasting about uh, reaching Mars very soon, okay? I want you to remember something, though. You have to, because the way these people think is the way they act. And you got to remember, Mars. Mars is and was and is the Roman god of war and bloodshed. Ruling planet of Aries, okay? Aries in the time frame and again i don't follow astrology i'm showing you what they go by aries runs between march 21st and april 19th mars rules in aries mars means war and bloodshed trump is pushing for mars putin is pushing for mars they both promise to beat each other to Mars, right? And then we see President Trump with his fist pumped in the air, representing the spear, his own coat of arms, okay? With a fighter with the 223 right on it. I don't think that's happenstance. We're, they're taking us to war. And I think everybody already pretty much knows that, who's paying attention. But this really kind of like sums it up for me, really. Question is, when? Because they're not going to Mars. And I, I really, I just hate doing this, but you need to listen to what this scientist at NASA tells you. Nine times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up, once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region that's just important for me to show you that's a real, pretty new um, release from nasa they can't go to outer space do you understand they can't do it this is all a bunch of theater and lies and deception to keep you from god that's its primary purpose but these men are just adhering to their flesh more or less, okay? It's very tricky, very, you know, sticky. When you start, like, pointing fingers at people, you know, judging them and whatnot. I'm just telling you that men are susceptible to the flesh, particularly men who are in very powerful positions, no matter how good, nice they are. They're going to war. And it doesn't matter why he believes he must go to war. And it doesn't matter why he believes he must go to war. But I'm telling you, they're working together. Because both of them know that you can't go to Mars. 
but Mars means war and bloodshed. So, you know, you use your discernment and you decide who you're going to believe. As for me, <laughs> the word of God and the blood of Jesus Christ. That's my rock. I suggest you look into it for yourself if you haven't already. So, I had to show this to you. I, I just have to. So, keep an eye out. It's, it's upon us, folks. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 